people born without limbs and full of disabilities. Mo Lester. It, it, yeah, dude, this guy hates me. I don't know if he's talking shit about me right now. Is he serious? Uh, he always oh. talks shit to me. His what name about, is Mo Lester. What about is that? he what serious? About his, uh, if God <laughs> exists, tell me how. By the, by the way, I if, take if, you guys, literally. if you guys ever are in the military and you meet a guy with a, a call sign Mo, this is why they call him Mo. Oh, okay. It's Mo Lester, it. yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, go to the next one. Like five dollars and Joe Original Cole. Sin was the answer. Original, yeah, original Sin. Original Sin. Original Sin. Original Sin. Uh, Joe Cole with the five. Happy birthday, Sergio. Thank you, bro. Really happy to see Michael Sartain back in Dallas spreading knowledge. Yeah, dude. Thank you so right, much for coming out again, bro. bro. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm so happy you're from here. I was born like like five miles that way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy you're from here so you yeah. can always come. Uh, cheeks, is, cheeks with the yeah. five. Average woman, second old market. Wait, S or smash. average women smash more men, whereas average men, one out of three men are virgins or not tasted sugar. <laughs> don't don't speak to women. Yeah, right, on, can, can we just speak to this real quick? So yeah. what he's referring to, and this is just in general, so, if you were to look at the number of the body count for women in general, it would m look pretty much like a straight line. And for a men, for men, it looks like a hockey stick. So I think that's what he's. But the the thing that makes it crazy, uh, I don't know. Can you pull up Donnie the the study that shows that um, that twenty eight percent of men have had zero sexual partners in the last. Uh, between the ages of 1830, it's a Washington Post article. It's really easy to show. The pro the reason why that's so interesting is because it doesn't change for women. Yeah. And as these yeah. men stopped having sex and these other men started having more sex, the women stayed exactly consistent. the same. That is the most fascinating part I of this it went up like two, It went up a little bit, right? I did, yeah, like you're right. It, it, it yeah. go up a little bit. Now, yeah. here's the other thing, though. Compared to the 60s and 70s, the number of women or number of sexual partners that people were having was way higher. Mm -hmm. like, it was, yeah. because it was we had, higher back then? Yeah, yeah. We didn't, we didn't have women? No, for men and women, it was, we didn't have an AIDS epi epidemic back then, and it, we just didn't have it wasn't the. the, the it was the free love movement. Yes, during the free love movement, the number of people that had, had like the number of partners people have actually this was least, higher. Least, so Austin Powers sex. was like admiration, right? Huh? Yeah. This this generation yeah, is correct. Yeah, it's really Powers. interesting. This generation has has shows more and does less. Yeah. This is the generation that has the uh, least sex and shows off more sexuality. Yeah, We're the peacock generation. Correct. We be peacocking like crazy. And, and the, re and yeah, the like reason what? the reason why was, and I'll, I'll just give just qu quick caveat. Back in 1985, if an attractive woman was attractive, she had to show off her attractiveness going into the club or on the red carpet, coming out of the club, okay. or being in a movie or being in a magazine. And that was it. Yeah. There was no, I'm going to show this off on social media. There was nothing like that. For now, so, so her validation actually came with her going out, drinking, and being around other high-status men, which caused her to have sex with more dudes. What happened later on is that these same women can get the same validation on social media. They don't have to go out. They can show absolute, a massive amounts of social media. I have at least 20 friends that make 100 grand a month on OnlyFans and don't have sex with anyone. Yeah. Like, they don't even, I have, I have two friends that make 300 grand a month and they don't even take their clothes off. They're completely clothed. They're fitness models. They make $300,000 a month. Look up Caitlin Runk. They have 300,000 a month. Um, <laughs> don't look it up. Actually, yeah. no. He's like, not for free press, man. Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 300 K a month, uh, but she may not be making that now, but uh, $300,000 a month on OnlyFans, and she's never even shown any nudity whatsoever. And that's but the part that's crazy. But you're saying it's interesting with all this. Yeah, hey, it was that article. Hey, that was the right one, Donnie. Go back to it. Just scroll still, down. Still having the same amount of sex. More. Yes. Even you keep though going. the times have changed. Almost you know there. Wait, that was it. That was it. Okay. So th this right here, that's you'll wild. notice. Oh, you'll, it you'll, it you'll let me share my screen. Yeah. So the thing the thing about it going up, I don't know if you can show it on the screen though. This is This is the most fascinating to me. Uh, maybe not specifically hypergamy, but basically how social media was a leverage for hypergamy to mm. cause a great number of men to like, again, what happened in 2008, that is the first time we get the Facebook app on your iPhone. Remember, we were having to use MySpace on our computer. We weren't using my, I, I tried to use it on my phone. It was a really slow web app. Now we have the Facebook app on our computer. Now we can DM with people. And now when a guy messages you the next day, you can see his face. You remember he has yeah. all these signs of fitness and these signs of fitness. If he has game, what, what, what basically what happened is the guy was six packs who was six foot three and had a had a Ferrari. He had an advantage over other guys, but only the guys, the girls who saw him. Yeah. And now everyone sees, sees him, him yeah. and then Bulzarian exists, but he only exists because of social media. Yeah. He wouldn't exist in another in another form. Hugh Hefner did the same thing, but he had his own Instagram called Playboy. That was his own version of Instagram, and that caused him to have the same same type of situation. Yeah. So that's essentially what happened there. But you see, like that's massive. Yeah. That's 2018, guys. It is 2023. I guarantee you that number's above 33%. Yeah. And so that's that's so essentially this is what's young happening. men driving the decline. So this is men who haven't had sex in the last year. Is yes. that right? Am uh -huh. I reading that correct? And this was done in, and then this 18, was done before. 18 percent of women haven't had sex so you're saying, it's saying so they both went 
up. So they so both went up. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. They both went up, but, but it, women like, only went up two or three significantly more. And then that then that goes to the dating app. So yeah. what happened is women now all of a sudden the the best thing on the menu is there for all of them. Yeah. And the problem is a woman who is not high status can creep into a celebrity's DMs now and have sex with him. Yeah. Now he's not going to wife her up. He'll say he will. Yeah. Right. But he won't actually yeah. wife her up. And the, because of that, now these women, what what's happened is they believe they attribute their status or their personal self worth to how many likes they get on social media. Social media where they doctored their face and they used face app and they snatched their waist and by the men that would have sex with them but not settled with them. And so they're like, well, because this NBA max player had sex with me one time, I am now worth that level of man. And because because I get 100,000 likes on this photo, I am now worth that level of man. And you meet the girl and she's just, but she's, you, she's trash. And like you, you, you know what I'm saying? And, but you, you see her in person, you're like, holy shit. She looks like that. Five. She looked like Alyssa from that, that fucking Alyssa, that Selena Powell thing. She's like, I suck their dicks. Like yeah. that girl, that yeah. ends up being the girl. Yeah. And but, she thinks she deserves to get wifed up. And that's what makes it crazy. Or he, Brittany Renner. Here's the thing. That's yeah. not fact though. Like that's kind of what we've hypothesized. Yes. See, What's but I can prove with my show fact? though, What's that I've fact? had yeah. tons of girls come yeah. on that are single you women can. and they sit there and they say, I tens. agree with you. They say they're tens all day long, this and I'm like, true. woman, you're a five. And the reason why you think you're ten is because of what you just said. But you're okay. fucking tens. But, okay. I, but that doesn't mean that they want to white. So, so here's, here's the thing. I, I, I believe. So this is interesting to me because as we acknowledge that men and women are different, and men communicate differently than women, as they communicate, does it not make sense to, or at least at least try to understand that as they're communicating things, they're communicating it as women. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, cause, cause for me, I'm, I'm like, as she's calling herself a 10, if we start to go down a logical train of like, <laughs> come on now. Well, they're not as logical as us. For sure. Yes. For sure. For sure. Uh, but, but, but I it, taught you at this least, one. At least, at least in terms but, but, of like, like. But a woman saying she's a 10, she's attributing delusion, things yeah. that don't matter. Like Absolutely. for instance. Like, no. I, like, you know, no. No, no, no. Listen, listen. It would she be the equivalent of, it. it would be the equivalent of Patrick Mahomes saying, well, I just got a PhD. We don't really care, Pat. You can still throw that sidearm down down the street, you know, streak to McCole Hardman. That's the thing. We attribute football players by their football playing attributes, and we attribute women by their feminine attributes, not by their education or their uh, or their income. But, but and women hold, that, women hold women that accountable differently than men hold yes. men accountable differently. But women, when so, they say they're a 10, they're a 10 because they make 300 grand a year. That's why they think they're a 10. And, and I guarantee no, you. Look, look, look. I've seen women that don't make 300 grand a year. Yeah, no. but, no. But, like, no. but I guarantee like if you found a girl. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Not all of them, but that would be one thing yeah, well, if you I, found I, it, I, I, I think I, I think women encouraging women across the board whether that is social status uh financial status or even um their weight they're all going to call each other tens i just think that's how women communicate oh, I, sure. women don't yes. want to sacrifice oh correct hurting each other emotionally so r rather than doing that we're all going to boost each other up because we're all we got what we're yeah. saying that's, that's what, what that's women how I that are on camera are going to say they're a 10 because they believe in order to attract a man, they have to come off confident. This is what uh, Cosmo has taught true, us. Yeah. Point. If women said yeah. they're a two, they would assume guys think she's insecure, has daddy issues, and is a bad bet. And that's what the girls say every time I on the show when I every, talk shit to them. Every I say time. it every time. If I pulled a girl aside, I'm like, you know you're not a 10, right? She's like, yeah, you know. Yeah, she but, knows. But they, but they have to but sit there and camera, say they're right here so they can possibly get that. Like they, That's what they think in their head is if I call myself 10, I can find a 10 possibly. Yeah, like, Does it work? No, there's no, no, there's no, no and I tell, I tell. That's why they're single. That's why they're single. But, yeah. but when I said three hundred grand, it was three hundred grand, sure. or or I'm a good real estate agent, or I'm a good, or I'm, I'm a good person. I'm a good person. <laughs> good person. And then it's like, it's like these things are great, but they don't. That's sorry, not what they don't. They don't make my yeah, penis exactly, harder yeah. because of your second that's master's they, degree. That's the point we're trying to make here. Yeah, they think point, value yeah. has to do that's with money. I it, it's with really that. humility, though. Like if these girls had you, and like here's the thing: after a woman has had sex with. Like I feel like after they they've slept with so many people, they can't be humble anymore. Like they the think it's gone. humble. Like oh, yeah. they they like, don't. They think it's I, I'm dead ass. I didn't even see that. They, they literally think that they're they appealing to men when they say they're a ten. They're <laughs> they like, came for you, bro. What? They the came, flat earthers yeah, they came for them every time. They come. So guys, just so you know, I did a, a debate with flat earthers, oh. and they just show up in every, yes. every podcast I do. Flat earth, flat earth, flat earth, flat earth, flat earth. But they use the Old Testament to prove. Proof flat earth constantly. Oh, yeah. hey, go back to the yeah. to the super chat. Hey, shout out to Tr shout out to Tristan. Tristan is not one of the flat earthers. He's yeah. bullshit. But yes, five dollars for Aaron. They follow you everywhere. Yeah. With so they many people, 
<laughs> with so many people depressed, is there a chance of society getting back to more traditional values, or are we past the point of no return? Like, there past. is no chance. This is no the oh, this is the, the 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 thing we like to talk about the Overton Tradition. window, bro. Enjoy so the Zuby, decline, bro. Zuby agrees with me that he doesn't think the Overton window has gone all the way. He, no, uh, no, he of course, he said on Friday, right now what that is, it'll never go. It'll never. For people like myself, what's the Overton? window? so the Overton window. I'll give you an example. The Overton window is what the middle standard deviation of society finds acceptable. So, for instance, in 1982, if I go up on stage and I'm a, a U.S. or let's say 1962, I go up on stage or, or, or on a pulpit and I said, hey, I would like to propose a, a bill that federally protects a, um, uh, gay marriage. You would get laughed off. Like you wouldn't even get past sure. the House, the Senate. There would be the bill would not be passed. If you go up in 2023 and said, I would like to outlaw gay marriage in the United States, you would get laughed, laughed off. off. So the Overton window on gay marriage has swung 180 degrees, unless you're Clarence Thomas, has swung 180 <laughs> degrees in the opposite direction. Okay, that's essentially what the Overton window. So over time, the Overton window on marijuana has be, we've shifted the Overton sure. window now on marijuana. And so what happens, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on which side of the aisle you're on, the Overton window always slips. Uh, shifts to the left if you think we're conservative consider our ancestors in 1930 they think we're liberals For sure. it always shifts to the left and what's going to happen the reason why this happens there's a couple of reasons but one of the reasons is because as we get further and further away from a survival scenario we're not in war we're not starving what happens is people start going to colleges they have cushy lives cushy jobs and they start arguing about whether or not elon musk should buy twitter as opposed to like can i find food today yeah. does yeah. that make sense yeah. 